George Seurat was a 19th century French painter who invented a new way of painting in which he used billions of little color dots to assemble a painting. The theory behind it was, and he had studied color theory, this theory of how the eye sees, and they called it pointillism. And because it was all these points, like he put a red dot and a blue dot next to each other and the eye sees violet. And it's kind of like the way a television works or the way contemporary science understands how the eyes work. But he was way, way, way ahead of his time discovering this new art form. The island on the Grand Jatte is the masterpiece around which Sunday in the Park revolves. He was such a revolution in his time and very much anti-establishment associated with anarchists and people who were against the government at the time and so he was pretty much completely shunned by the great artists. In fact, Artists like Monet and Renoir and Degas, some of these artists refused to be in a show if Seurat was going to be in it. So he really was never seen at the time of his life. And in fact, during his lifetime, he never sold a single painting. Why Sunday in the Park? You know, Sunday in the Park has always been a show that's been so close to my heart. To be obsessed with his work, to be single-minded, to put 10 billion dots of light on a canvas and never waver and never look up and never give up and devote our entire soul, our heart, our passion to this work and still somehow manage to have a life, manage to have relationships, manage to keep life and art in balance. And it's the eternal struggle of the artist. It's also about how important art is and how vital art is. At a time when our society has been kind of torn in half, when our government and our people are struggling to find any way to talk to each other, art is what lifts us up and reminds us that, that we all have a nobler part. And it, it, it sort of makes us feel like uh, everyday life is important. Every detail of life is important. Every moment of life is holy, and beautiful. And that's what Sunday in the Park is all about.